they were just focusing on the event. There were not as many flash headlines about it. Yeah. Woo! How strong it is. It's just one more event as we to a singer. So let me get this straight. Good morning. I got a new tripod. <laughs> oh man, good morning. Mwah. This guy's toast, man. He is so sleepy. And we don't really know why. I think it's probably because he sat outside for like an hour in the blowing cold just to chew on a bone. And then he came inside and his little paws were freezing cold. Mm. But he wouldn't come inside, would he? No. No. Mm. Today is an editing day and it is also like 30 degrees outside. Austin has no idea how to do fall. We just go summer and then we go, oh, sunshine and 60 degrees for like two days and then it's just like freezing cold. I'm just like, <laughs> Mike used a blanket, a shovel, and the chimney for the grill to cover the avocado tree in the backyard and I put, stop, blankets all over my succulents out front and it's only supposed to get colder tonight so they're going to stay in bed. They're sleeping. Yeah, I'm going to probably post an hour-long vlog today. So, I actually went ahead and got a, like, a Joby, which is what they're called. Like, not one of the knockoffs. And, like, this thing is amazing. It's, like, grippy. It's got all these little, like, rubber things on it. And it can, like, wrap around anything. And it can stand anywhere. And... It was like $16 on Amazon. So I'm just enjoying my coffee and sitting here with Doggo and doing my crossword puzzle. It's it's really early. It's uh, actually, it's 8.40, so it's not that early, but I got up really early. And last night was the first night that we turned on the heat in the house. So Mike and I kind of slept in a little bit this morning after the uh, alarm went off. We were just like, nah, so cuddly, so cozy. So yeah, gonna get my morning started and I'm gonna make some breakfast. <laughs> All right, I'm about to take Doggo for a walk -o. And it's like 30 degrees outside. <laughs> See you when I get back. <laughs> oh man, it is cold out there. Ollie has this hilarious habit of when he sees the front door, like, oh, we're done with the walk. He decides, I'm gonna smell something for 10 minutes, just to stall. <laughs> he is a silly pup. I can't hear anything right now. Huh, <sighs> I'm going to do my morning meditation, which makes such a huge difference in my life, and then I'm going to edit. It's a pretty chill day. Pun intended. <laughs> so, when I do my morning meditation, I I listen to music, and I can um, link the like album below. It's just two songs that kind of loop, and. If you guys want to know more about getting into meditation and stuff, let me know. It is really hard to start, but when you finally get the hang of it, it's the best. <laughs> it's the best. So let me know. Oh my god, I'm so cold. <laughs> I just turned the heat up to like 70 in my house. I'm so cold. I'm just eating my leftover pizza from Sunday. It's not the healthiest thing in the world, but I don't like wasting food. So, mm. tonight for dinner, among other things, I'm making collard greens and baking, like roasting some potatoes. So, it's good cold weather food. <laughs> hey, bud. Have you ever seen anything that sweet and pathetic in your life? Are you cold? Oh my god. It's so cute. I just want to eat you up. Oh, I love it. He tries to be so small. He's so big, but he tries to be so small. So I'm going upstairs right now to film. I've decided to do a full face of forgotten favorites to kind of get back on theme of gratitude month and I have so many 
products that I've been wanting to kind of like go back in and play with some more and lord knows um, We could do like 10 full face of forgotten favorites with what I have right now So I'm gonna go do that. That'll be Friday's video and uh, you guys will probably have seen it by now So yeah, I'm doing that while my other vlog exports Time travel <laughs> things you might not know about me. <laughs> I forte and looking really cute while I'm running. Um, this is uh, This is here to dispel all of your suspicions about how earmuffs don't look cute because obviously this is the best look ever. Also, if you thought you couldn't run in wool socks, the answer is you can absolutely run in wool socks. I'm about to do it. I don't have any running gloves. I might steal Mike's because I lost one last year and I always lose one glove. It's just the thing that happens. But this egg on a stick right now is going to go try and go for a run. If only to just escape this dog that keeps wincing at me. <sighs> I promise, we don't abuse him. We will take him out, it's just not right now. Hello. Uh, so I did go for a run. In case you can't tell by my appearance. And then as soon as I got back in the door, I was like, yeah, I'm already warmed up. I'll go take the dog for a walk. So I took him for a walk and then he wanted to run the last block. So we ran the last block and I'm really thirsty and I need to take a shower, but I did it. One day at a time, guys. Running is just the best. It's kind of like when I let my analytical mind take over. Am I screaming? You know, the whole point of meditation is to make your autonomic nervous system take over and get your analytical mind out of the way. And so, I will admit, in all the meditation I've been doing and all the work I've been doing, my analytical mind has some backlog. And so, as soon as I start running, my analytical mind just starts unloading everything and organizing it, which is kind of nice. So, it mean, helped me decide what my videos for like Thanksgiving week are going to be and the order that I'm going to do them in and everything. And just kind of helped me shake out some nuances. And man, once you get going out there, that cold, it's so nice. You like, you'll stop feeling your legs totally, you know, after a little while. So, yeah. Not bad. And I'm not that big of a weenie, guys. Let's see. What's the actual temperature outside? Uh, okay, it's 44. You know, it's not 28, I admit. But I'm a Floridian who lives in Texas. 44 is pretty stinking cold and it's very windy, so. Got me some slack. It's getting dark really early too, which makes it get cold really quickly. Cause I'm like, there's no sunshine to like, it's just shade. I mean, obviously there's no sunshine when the sun sets near, yeah. but when it, my point is like, you know, sometimes you get like breaks of sunshine when you're running on the road and then you like, you know, it makes the shade more bearable. This is just a lot of shade. The shade's really cold. So yeah, I'm gonna go drink a bunch of water and take all the clothes off because of course, as soon as I get in the door, I just start sweating underneath all these layers. All right. <sighs> I am all clean and I bothered to get dressed, even though it's, you know, like six o'clock. It's fine. I'm going to uh, cook some dinner. We're gonna make some potatoes and some collard greens and probably have some leftovers and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna do that and it's Tuesday night, so I'm gonna watch Chopped. <laughs> Put a little bit of vinegar on it, and I hope it tastes like home. Dude, those are amazing. Nailed it! Who was halfway through getting ready, and then Mike walks in and says he found an animal? That would be me. It's about 9 a.m. Oh, sweetie, hi. Let's get you home. 
Okay, we got a leash on her and we got her in the passenger seat. Bless her heart. She's terrified. Little sweetie. So, finally got a hold of the owner. She works like an hour away and so she's having to drive back to come get the pup. And the pup has staked out the bathtub. Bless her little heart. Hi, sweetheart. Her name is Baby. She's obviously very old and very confused, but she's being a trooper. I am supposed to be filming my uh, wear test, like starting a wear test this morning, but I don't want to go upstairs until they come pick her up. I don't really want to leave her on her own down here with all these kind of unpredictable creatures. So I guess that I will do my morning meditation and then I'll edit a little bit and by then I'm sure her owner will be here. What are you doing? Cool thing that I get to do today, I get to go pick up my ring. <laughs> it's finally back uh, from getting soldered. Tiffany's has to send it up to New York City to get, uh, to get soldered because they use hypoallergenic solder, which, you know, I could have taken it to any jeweler, but I would have A, lost my warranty, and B, I would have, there would have been nickel in the solder, and so it would have made my skin break out. And so, you know, I had them use their gold that's not cut with anything that I'm allergic to. I'm not finding my words right now. Oh my God, all of the animals are in here right now. <laughs> Got one. Hello. Got two and three. And then, you know, there's one in the bathtub. Did you find my coat? So, <laughs> I just put a picture of this makeup look up on my Instagram and everybody's like, yeah, that's great and everything, but how did you do that to your hair? <laughs> So actually years and years ago, I did a tutorial on how to do this to my hair w while it's as short as it is. I don't blame anyone for not watching that. Uh, I also think I might've taken it down by now. So um, I had another video planned for Friday, but I think that this is a really fun thing to share. I haven't done a hair tutorial in a little while, I have to think. Maybe that's what we'll do. <laughs> Put my autofocus to the test, right? So yeah, um, it's this kind of like milkmaid crown that I do and it's, I don't know, it's something I kind of concocted in my brain to be able to do this with short hair because usually you think like pigtail and then pull it up, pigtail and then pull it up, but my hair's only to about here, so. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I guess that's gonna be Friday's video. That's fun, that's fun. I like I like filming a new, a new type of video, so. Here is my OOTD. In case you guys hadn't noticed, I'm obsessed with this vest. It's from J. Crew Mercantile. I have a J. Crew card and I went in there during their crazy sale and I got this thing basically for free. So <laughs> I had like a sweatshirt and this and then like it ended up that I, I got one of the items for free. And so uh, yeah, I love this. And then I have this great uh, it's a cashmere scarf my friend gave me years ago. And this is also from J. Crew. These jeans are also from J. Crew. Uh, yeah. In the summertime, I wear like all Madewell, and apparently in the wintertime, I wear all J. Crew. I'm still a trope. So um, I am gonna go get my wedding ring back. I'm so excited. So that was kind of a waste of my time. <laughs> The uh, the ring came back at Tiffany's and, well, that's not gonna work. It was off center. You guys saw I have like a chevron ring uh, with diamonds and then it just goes over the solitaire and it just needed to be centered. But when I put it on, I was like, it's off center. And he was like, is it? And I was like, it's off center. It was off center just ever so perceptibly. And I was just, I was like, this will drive me absolutely bonkers. So the guy who was helping me was so, so nice. And he, you know, talked for a while in the back and came back out and he's like, all right, we're gonna get it taken care of. We'll get you some new paperwork, blah, blah, blah. And then this manager comes out and just kind of casually, she's just like, hey, um, you know, Jerry did like a really, really good job of explaining to me what was going on. And I just wanted to, you know, make sure that you're happy and and, you know, let you know that they might have to replace the entire basket uh, for the diamond in order to get this how you want it. And I was like, um, is that going to cost me more money? Because this is almost costing me like $300 at this point. And she's like, 
Um, I, you know, if they have to replace the basket, and she talked, it was so patronizing. And, um, and she's trying to explain to me that because of my wear and tear on my engagement ring, that the prongs are off center now, and they were just aligning it to the prongs. And so they need to replace the basket to get the diamond to align with the chevron. I let her finish, but I was like, okay, let's be clear here. This is not a prong issue. I don't care about the prongs. This is about the chevron not being centered. You can see it plain as day with your naked eyes. It's off to the right. I said, I'm not paying more because they should have done it right the first time. And she was like, okay, Jerry, make sure to communicate that in the paperwork. Jerry was on the same page with me the entire time. He'd even drawn a little picture of what was wrong and he was completely right. We were totally on the same page. And her trying to tell me that this was a an optical illusion to my eye, that's those are the words she used, the optical illusion to my eye because of the prongs. I was just like, <sighs> anyway, it's gonna be right, but I don't get my ring back today, so. I'm up at the domain for no reason and I'm cold. So I'm going to go back home and I'm going to eat some lunch. <laughs> that's, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> it probably looks like no time has passed at all, but it is now 4.17 and I am headed to the grocery store. Um, Mike has to make mashed potatoes for his office potluck tomorrow and I'm kind of in the middle, I've done like not a very good job of vlogging today, I'm kind of in the middle of crisis right now and um, I just, I spent a lot of my time on the phone today and that is where I needed to be. I did get a video uploaded for tomorrow, which is actually Thursday, so that's cool. I, have no, I don't even remember how much I've like told you guys over the course of today, I've just been very harried and very like trying to just keep my head above water, there's just a lot going on, so. Um, very grateful to have the time and space to be able to take care of it. It's a lot. It's just a lot. I had some soup at like three, thinking that that was a good time to eat lunch. It's now 5.15 and I've got heartburn because I think that soup was like, it had sat in the fridge a little bit. Not, it wasn't like rotten or anything. It's just when vegetables sit there for a while, they, they give you heartburn. Like when you cook a tomato for too long, science. Anyway, uh, I just talked to Mike. I totally forgot that he has a business dinner tonight. And so it's just me and whiny poot over here for the next few hours. But I just got the correct, hopefully, <laughs> foundation shades in the mail from Aeroblend to be able to try those with the new Aeroblend system. <gasps> be excited, so I might even like do that tonight. I got nothing better to do. And I'm also gonna be making mashed potatoes to kind of surprise Mike because he's supposed to be bringing them to his office tomorrow. I also need to take some heartburn medicine. Oh my God, I'm dying. I know, you think it's your turn. You think it's your turn to do everything for Ollie. It's Ollie's turn all the time. Whose turn is it? It's Ollie's turn. Mommy doesn't get to take any Harper medication, no. Cause it's Ollie's turn. It's always Ollie's turn. Okay, so I just washed my face cause I'm gonna go try the AeroBlend, but I also just opened this. This just came in the mail. I got done walking the dog and the Amazon guy had just dropped this off. Fresh. Thing of mother dirt. I can't live without this stuff, you guys. So, my old one was almost empty. So the question that I always get is, Kaki, how did you become a fashion icon? And I have no answer for you other than, I was born this way. Clothes just look good on me. I mean, play to your strengths, right? It's just my calling. <laughs> So I added like a half a stick of butter and then I'm going to put a whole lot of sour cream in there. I ended up putting the other half of the stick of butter in there because life is terribly short and uh, lots of salt and pepper. And now that they're delightfully mashed. Sour cream, baby! Feast thine eyes on some gorgeous grub that happens to not even have meat on it. It is my amazing mashed potatoes. If you guys have never just made mashed potatoes where you boil the potatoes, you mix in like a stick of butter, salt and pepper, and sour cream. I'm sorry I'm giving away all my family secrets. That's the most bomb 
mashed potatoes you'll ever have in your life. These are just mushrooms cooked down in wine. These, they're questionable. I kind of wish I could have steamed them, but they're gonna be fine. Just wanted to show you guys my gorgeous creation. Oh. Okay, it is a little after 10 a.m. I have not had breakfast yet because I woke up and I needed to go ahead and get like filming. So um, I'm gonna make some breakfast, just made my bed, yay. Um, and it's just kind of an editing day today now and uh, between now and 2 p.m. is what I have because at two, I go into two different doctor's appointments. So finally going to the gynecologist. <laughs> I've been to the gynecologist and gotten a Wellman's exam in like four years, which is really bad. Basically my gyno retired and I've been asking kind of passively <laughs> now and then when I think about it, my friend's like, hey, do you guys have a gynecologist that you like? And they're all like, no, I hate my gynecologist. And I'm just like, okay. So uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. And so I figure I'm gonna go do it. I'm just gonna go do it. And, um, and then after that, I have a dermatologist appointment because I have to do my six month check-in to stay on TALTS, which is my psoriasis medication that is awesome and amazing. And it works incredibly well with no side effects. It's amazing. But also I'm getting this little mole removed because I hate it. <laughs> I know that seems silly, but I hate it. And so, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do like makeup probably like wear tests or anything uh starting like tomorrow so i wanted to go ahead and get like the makeup videos filmed ahead and then tonight tonight you guys i bought us tickets to go to this thing that you always know when mike really wants something when he mentions it like more than twice because he doesn't ever do that he doesn't get excited about stuff that often so it's like he told me he wanted to go see pot and potter which is this uh, 70 minute, hilarious apparently, play that is all seven Harry Potter books inside of 70 minutes. And we're gonna go see it tonight at the Paramount and I'm so freaking excited. So uh, yeah, that is our Thursday. It's kind of busy. So I need to go ahead, make myself some oatmeal and get started editing. <laughs> okay, so I got my video for Friday filmed and edited. I really like it. You guys are loving today's video and it's making me so happy because it made me so happy to make that video. It's the one that's like a five minute face to feel more confident. Like, I'm so glad that you guys don't think I'm cheesy. <laughs> Or if you do, you, you're, you're cool with it. I am heating up some leftovers for lunch and I'm loving, I'm loving having like cooked, home cooked food for my lunch every day instead of like ordering out and like making a lot of waste. I have to leave here in about 45 minutes to go to my first doctor's appointment. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some food in my belly. Mushrooms, mashed potatoes, collard greens. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that, guys. <laughs> so good. So I got done with my appointment pretty early. I went over to the post office to drop some stuff off. I talked to my mom for a minute about Christmas and stuff like that. And I just have a hankering for some gelato. So I came over here to Central Market and I'm gonna get me some gelato, I hope. I hope that, I'm gonna sample it and I'm gonna see if it upsets my stomach and if it doesn't upset my stomach, I'm gonna have some gelato. <laughs> well, in a wonderful turn of events for me but disappointing for you, I've already eaten my gelato because um, my mom called me right as I was about to get back in my car, but I had pistachio and it was awesome. And I'm about to go get something cut off of my face and so, I don't know, it's kind of probably better that I give myself a little bit of blood sugar because that kind of thing tends to make me go kind of faint, you know? So it is now 3.40, 20 minutes until my appointment. So I'm going to head up there and go ahead and sign in and whatnot. Just an absolutely beautiful evening, you guys. It is 64 degrees, absolutely clear and gorgeous. And I just, I really, I got nothing to complain about. Nothing to complain about, y'all. Is it time? Is it time? Is it time to take Ollie for a walko? Doggo for a walko, dab. So I got the mole removed, guys. That's what it looks like right now. Um, it's just been kind of like sliced off, cauterized. Still a little numb. But 
I hardly even disturbed my makeup wear test today, so. Gonna go take Doggo for a walk because he's wincing at me. I know, I know how dare I talk to my camera. <sighs> Good morning, homies. So last night was a little bit weird. We went to see Potted Potter and I did not like it. I thought it was not very good. I had this feeling wash over me afterwards when Mike was like, did you like it? And I was like, honestly, no. I thought it was kind of Bush League. Like it felt like I kind of got ripped off because the tickets were really expensive and I bought them, you know, as a gift to Mike. And I just felt really crestfallen that being short on money, that much money didn't used to mean very much to me. But last night I like had this realization that wasting it felt a million times worse than it did when, you know, money was more abundant. And I just kind of crashed and burned emotionally for a minute. We went to one of my favorite restaurants afterwards and I had no appetite. We had eaten so much popcorn. <laughs> they served popcorn at the theater and so I'd had a bunch of popcorn. And that, that is also why I'm like, swollen like a little newborn kitten right now is because um my I, i'm retaining water so much but i had this moment last night where i was just really upset and i felt like a failure and i felt like this was gonna like nothing was ever gonna get better and i felt really hopeless then i went through some mental exercises to myself and thought kind of about where this process, this muscle memory was leading me. And I realized it's leading you to the easiest place, which is rock bottom again. And you've worked so hard to get out of that position. And so I just talked myself back out of it. I had sort of isolated the situation. I said, okay, Khaki, it's X amount of dollars. It is what it is and you were feeling totally fine before this. It's not that big of a deal. Let's just isolate it for what it is, address it, feel the feelings, and move on. And within probably about an hour and a half, I just kind of turned around to Mike and I was like, all right, I am past it. I'm not going to let this ruin our entire night. And uh, I'm sorry for being grumpy and for being upset and for making you uncomfortable and making us leave the restaurant. But like we hadn't been seated yet or anything. We were just like waiting for a table. And I said, I didn't want to spoil one of my favorite restaurants with my bad attitude. And he was like, I understand. And so I really attribute that ability. Ollie, stop, please. Like it's always, always ass chewing time. I wish I were making it up, but it's just all the time. I've been reading this book called Becoming Supernatural. I mean, the guy kicks the book off by being like, yo, uh, people in the traditional uh, medical community think I'm a quack and that this is pseudoscience and I'm really not here to impress them. You know, you take it with all the grains of salt, but to be honest, the medical, traditional medical community has never really benefited me all that much anyway. They just kind of, like yesterday, my gynecologist appointment, I honestly almost stopped her and was like, I feel like you're rushing me. Like I was explaining all of the, like, you know, answers to the questions that she was asking me. She was doing that mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm thing to like make me talk faster. And I was like, look, if you're on a schedule and you don't have time to address my vagina with your full attention, like we can reschedule, okay? I, it was very frustrating. And so I have found that self-help is really more helpful most of the time. And it's a harder road. It is a, it's just a more difficult uphill battle. Um, and that's why they call it doing the work. When, whenever people talk about kind of like, you know, getting off of antidepressants or really working on your anxiety or, you know, getting yourself spiritually aligned, they always call it like doing the work. It's because it's a daily practice and it is a lot of work, but it is very, very effective. And it's far more effective to me, to me, I'm not a doctor. I, you know, don't take my medical advice. But uh, for me, it has completely replaced my need for like an anti-anxiety medication. I don't feel helpless anymore. So I've read a handful of books and I have them linked in the like about section of my blog, which is just heykhaki.blogspot.com, not blogspot.wordpress.com. It used to be heykhaki.com, but I stopped paying for the domain. I don't know. It's just a handful of books, but I like these books that kind of help me train my brain to get recentered. And I think that this has been the most effective one yet, probably just because it's the most recent one, at like helping me put together strategies for myself that make me feel like I can regain my footing more quickly when something knocks me down like that. 
because that's really, really important. Of course, we can all feel blissful and at peace when we have nothing but time and space to meditate and be our best selves in, but then the unexpected happens and that's when you get challenged. That's when it really gets put to the test whether you are on as firm of a footing as you thought. All right, so my morning did not get started as I thought it would. I had to write a really stressful email and I'm like a little charged up from it. And um, Mike just texted me and asked me to bring Doggo to his office. I'm guessing they're doing a photo shoot today. So gonna go do that. <laughs> So it turns out that Mike wanted me to bring the dog to his office because one of his coworkers is fostering another puppy and he wanted it to meet Ollie and see if they got along and they didn't. And so now I'm back with the dog. <laughs> At your service, babe. So I'm out. I haven't recorded anything today, but I mean, all my videos are up and Mondays is already recorded. I kind of think I'm going to let my brain kind of decompress a little bit. It is so unbelievably beautiful outside. It is 63 degrees and just open sunshine. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna go get a smoothie and just take this guy to run around at the P-A-R-K. All right, so it's 3 p.m. I just got done filming two videos, which means that I have just next Monday's video left to film. I'm going to go ahead and edit this Monday's video. I'm like filming all ahead because I'm gonna be gone. So I'm just gonna sit down and edit. Um, it's just an absolutely gorgeous day outside. I know I already said that, but since Ollie's already been to the park, I figure Mike and I will probably just like, you know, when he gets home, go do something, something fun with the dog, have a nice drink on a Friday afternoon kind of thing. <sighs> I had this like moment where it was crazy. I had like, you know, all of my like anxiety up in my chest while I was like driving over to Mike's office, not because I was driving to Mike's office, but because of like that kind of weird, like heated situation that I was in before that. And then I realized like, I thrive in a challenge. Even in that book, uh, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a like he talks about how happiness is not the absence of problems it's the presence and the solving of problems that you want to solve and the satisfaction that comes from solving them and so i realized like it's not it's not that like i'm failing because i have challenges it's that i you know that's what life is about and i rise to these challenges and that's how i learn and how i grow and how i feel confident in myself like putting my game face on being like i did that look at that i did that i conquered that i stood up for myself i was a badass like that's life that's like satisfaction and like all of a sudden all that anxiety just dropped out of my chest and i was like huh okay so just like cracking the code on mm, the positive self-talk, I guess, and trying to, you know, figure out kind of what these weird, like insecure instincts and like this snap knee jerk reactions, like what they really mean about what's going on inside. And that was a really, really good kind of learning moment where I was just like, no, dude, put your game face on and face these challenges head on because that's what's gonna make you happier in the long run. So I'm gonna go edit now, but I wanna share that with you guys. Well, how am I supposed to edit in my spot when there's kitties in my spot? Oh, that's easy. You just cuddle with them. Oh, yeah. Man, I've got a paper towel problem. Snack is next, snack, 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 snack. Snack is next, snack, 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 snack. Yo, Gabby Gab, I'm coming for your brand. World's greatest dog, world's greatest dog, world's greatest dog, dog, dog. So we are at the ABGB getting some pizza. I mean, I'm like hungry in a weird way, like in an unhealthy way. Like I feel like I haven't eaten all day and I've already eaten technically three meals. I'm like starving. So I ordered a pizza, but yeah, it's like, I'm like lightheaded. I'm so hungry. It's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> out of breath. He's so sweet. Good morning. It's Saturday. It's really early. It's like 7.45. Oh. Last night, Mike and I went and had pizza and it was really good. I don't know what compels me sometimes, just, you know, after a long week of work and headaches and emotionality. And yesterday, God, I had just the worst headache. It was just like, so like, I just wanted to relax. 
And so we came back home and we were just like watching stuff on TV and I drank like probably a glass too many of white wine, which is like one extra, you know? I feel okay, not great, <laughs> not great. And um, you know, it's always those kinds of things that remind me why I don't like doing that. <laughs> it seems like a good idea at the time. Ollie found a cork in the compost. So if you thought what your dog played with was gross, I'm afraid that you've met your match. So I've been chilling for the last couple hours, looking fly as hell. Um, you know, drinking my coffee, watching watching my YouTubes, watching the new Sarah, uh, Sarah, uh, Samantha Ravindall video, and um, and eat my oatmeal. And I actually feel a lot better. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a shower here in a little bit. <sighs> Grateful. I threw his toy away. And even though he is surrounded by other better toys, he's still mad at me. Didn't want him to choke. Are you mad at me, Ollie? <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go on a run and I have so much of the Shiseido SPF on right now and it's like a physical SPF so it's just like zing. And so my face is really, really white anyway. Um, but I had to do that because this is not supposed to get any sun exposure. So I'm, um, she told me to just, you know, make sure it was covered with a really good SPF. So probably gonna pile even more on before I leave. But ah, today's a weird day. I just feel really weird. Um, I'm having to make some really weird decisions. Uh, things I just, I don't know. Just taking it one like moment at a time right now, but uh, but I did just buy some Christmas gifts, so that feels really good. Getting in the spirit, and uh, still a little kind of like shaky, you know, like you know you just feel a little like malnourished when you drink too much, and so um, I feel a lot better though. Uh, I don't have a headache anymore, which is great, and uh, and yeah, usually going and just like sweating it out really helps. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna take a shower because my hair is really dirty. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go run and try and get some of this nervous energy out. <laughs> I made dinner. I didn't film it because I'm not feeling that good, but I want to show you guys because it's pretty. I made chicken, mm, chicken and Brussels sprouts with bacon. Mm. Food porn. I hope it tastes good because it looks good. Good morning. Yesterday was kind of a low point for me. <laughs> I never, never get hungover. I hate, I hate being hungover because it makes me really, really depressed and I just kind of hit a low point yesterday. I'm really always like grateful when I wake up the next day and not hungover. It always makes me want to be like, I'm gonna be a good girl. <laughs> I'm going to treat my body like a pure vessel. I'm going to be perfect going forward. And then for whatever reason, I just start taking my body for granted a couple of like weeks later and I just be like, yeah, everything's fine, you know, fun, fun, fun. And then whatever. I'm just not in a healthy mindset right now and I'm scared and I'm like, I'm just kind of low key freaking out. The universe is colluding to make me see this through right now, even when I'm discouraged and when I don't think I'm worthy of it. And so, man, my hair looks amazing. I blow dried it last night. Like, why does it look like this? Probably because I slept in so much and just like rubbed my head around on my pillow apparently. So yeah, I mean, in spite of all of my best cowardly efforts, it looks like you guys are stuck with me for a while. I keep trying to take the easy way out and there isn't one. I don't know. This thing looks just awful, doesn't it? I keep reminding myself. And when it's gone, I will have no mole. That's the whole point, but man, it just doesn't look like it's really like improving, does it? I was feeling so like unconfident that I feel like the videos that I filmed for next week that I filmed ahead, when I edit them, I'm like not gonna like them because I feel like I wasn't my best self in them kind of thing. But I also know that that's how creators get in their head and punish themselves for not being perfect. And so, I have a feeling they're probably fine. I haven't started editing them yet, but I haven't done my Q&A yet. I think I might film my Q&A tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna do today, but we have a game night with our next door neighbors tonight. And they made friends with some of my friends at my wedding. And so they invited some of my other friends to come too. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be really fun. And I love a game night because people always think that they're so lame and they're so fun. Everybody's always like, game night? 
uh, like what game? As long as it's not Monopoly, it's super fun. I'm really excited to play some games. It's it's Sunday morning. It's like, God, it's what time is it? It's 10.23. I slept in really hard today. I dreamed all night. I dreamed all night. It was crazy. I dreamed that I rescued a guy from toxic waste. Hmm, that's the only one I remember right now, but I did. I rescued a guy from toxic waste. I also, I'm like excited to just do my skincare and put on some makeup today because I feel like I could show myself a little bit of love right now. So once again, you guys, I've managed to pull my depressed ass together and you know, clothes help and also this, uh, this makeup situation really helps. One thing I'm learning as I'm editing some of these videos that I've done recently is that the reason that beauty gurus on YouTube put so much makeup on their faces is because it looks better on camera. Things like this, that's like dewy and pretty and cream products, it doesn't look that good when you put it on camera. It looks really good in person, whereas like all that crazy HD powder and everything with like all the setting sprays and stuff looks insane in person, looks super cakey. I know I'm gonna get roasted by people being like, um, your makeup looks really patchy in my anti-haul video that I'm putting out, but I swear it's just how it looks on camera and it looks like totally normal in person. And it's like the opposite end of the spectrum from these like crazy like reverse autopsy kind of like makeup looks. Anyway. <laughs> I am channeling my inner Ellen DeGeneres tonight. Not, not really sure, you know, why. I feel really cute, but, um, but yeah, got my little, my little sweater on over my little Oxford shirt, and my little space buns going. And Mike's not home from uh, the uh, the brewery he took Ollie to. He met our friend Dave, and I was like, "You're gonna be back by five? And he's like, "Why wouldn't I be?" And I'm like, "Cause you're leaving it." Two? I don't know. So, um, good thing it's next door and it is exactly, well, it's, it's five, but my watch says six because I still haven't changed it from daylight savings because I don't really use my watch as it turns out, I guess. So we're going to go play games. I think I might just bring a bottle of wine over. Nah. And uh, even though I have no intention of drinking it and play, play some games. So I actually think I will take you guys with me because it's like, it's my more outgoing friends. They probably will just be like really happy to be on camera, especially my friend Eric. We've done videos together before. So, and if people don't want to, I won't film them. Good to see you. Oh my god, I was just asking them, I was like, is it okay if I vlog? And they were like, well, it's okay with us. And I was like, well, it's definitely okay with Eric because yeah. he introduced me to YouTube. Current, someone told, was once said, like, photos of Eric are like currency to him. <laughs> You definitely want to split one with someone. They're really intense. Oh my god, they're warm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We married a long time. Yeah. It's huh? like baller dash. Ooh. But you don't have to write with your hand. <laughs> that silly so, inconvenience. What is this thing for? That's awesome. That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Dick works for almost all of <laughs> What is Link? Like Link coin? <laughs> Mike? <laughs> oh, 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 it's real. Oh, that shit oh, is real. Okay. That shit is real. Uh. <laughs> Well, I have no idea how much of that you guys actually got to see because I was only filming here and there because we were having so much fun. Such good people, so much fun. And then we just get to walk next door and be home. So that's fantastic. So um, yeah, uh, I'd never played any of those like online games through Jackbox, but that was like really, really fun. And it's just nice being around a bunch of adults who um, want to start a party at 5 p.m. so that it can be done by 9.30. Um, I guess that this is the end of the vlog actually. I just realized that because it's Sunday night. I'm ending the vlog. Say hi vlog. <laughs> uh, if you liked this, give it a thumbs up. I have no closing wisdom for you this time other than, you know, life's weird. Um, and uh, I, um, if you, if you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. Love it if you did. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. And I will see you in the next one.